All right, let's listen to some royalty-free music of this little Bluetooth mini boombox that I made. Finally pulling some really good sound out of it. So I chose this funky bass guitar music logo royalty-free Dealy Whacker here. Let's listen to it. There you have it. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let me turn that off. All right, so I started off with NVX 4x6s in this build. Great tweeters, silk dome, just lacking the bass. So I went with Scar Audio's 4x6s, these TX46s, and I popped them inside here. I got my bass and overall sound where I wanted it. However, these tweeters are just too damn hot. I mean, just crazy, crazy high volume. So I needed a way to knock them down. So let's go inside here and I'll show you what I did. I had to put some uh, screws on these grills because they keep popping off. But I just want to show you this really quick here. All I did was that they, they had enough tweeter wires. See these guys right here, the tweeter wires? They go down to the standoffs. And I thankfully they left me enough wire there so I could wire in a 50 watt 30 ohm resistor that goes into the wires that go into the tweeters. And that knocked these tweeters down substantially. Balanced out the woofer and the tweeter sound and just made it sound great. I'm using a Dewalt battery, four amp hour in here, and this thing will just last for days, literally. This is a Fosse Audio little mini digital chip amplifier. This guy right here that uses 12 to 24 volts for power, All right? The Dewalt battery is also 20 volts. And I found that you can actually charge this battery. You know, it just pops in and out right here. And so I put a little connector end on there for 19 volts and use their AC to DC adapter power supply, and you can charge the battery and play the radio at the same time. Five amps, no problem. Charges up the battery fine. I've tested it all out and works perfectly. It's ported, and that's about all she wrote. Bluetooth, and right here, you can charge your phone right here with this. It's got aux input right here, little 3.5 millimeter. And it's got good sound. Now, it's not crazy subwoofer, high power, like this guy down here. I mean, or that guy up there, 300 watts per channel. Or this guy down here with about 400 watts per channel. But uh, if you just want some good, good background sound with a Dewalt powered, you know, battery going on here, uh, you're good to go. This thing is great for computer speakers, TV, highly portable, less than 10 pounds, and it rocks. It does a really good job. So I may uh, attempt to build another one of these things and see what I can come up with. Lined it all. The only thing I didn't do good on this was the base port. I used uh, Gorilla rubber cement, and I should have went on the inside instead of the outside. I got a little bit of slop job on the port. But that's about it. VU lights are wired directly into the speaker themselves, so they blink with increasing volume and get more intense. It's just a on and off. It turns on and off with the power. Antennas on the exterior right here. Pretty happy with this build. Boomer Sooner for the University of Oklahoma Sooners. Just down the road from me. And there you have it. Thanks for watching.